All right, well here's a 98 Legacy uh, GT with the 2.5 liter. And uh, as you probably know, they leave you almost nothing for room to do anything. Got a little bit of freed up room back there when I changed um, the, got rid of the torque box. Uh, went with the EJ22 um, straight one. So, but anyway, up here, um, what I did was I loosened the bolt on the horn moved it over 90 degrees that gave me a little bit of space here this is for the disc 2 which I'm going to be connecting to this uh, coil and so what I'm doing on the bottom is uh, bending these wires over and cable tying them along here and then I'm putting some L brackets in those holes there there and there those are facing down this is out of 90 degree angle and The way I'm going to mount this is pretty much right there. So that's going to be a screw going right into there. That's going straight down into the bottom. There's a little gap there, so I might um, might just bend that bracket down so it's a little bit flatter on there. There's a big bolt right there, but this is where I'm going to mount it. That way I have access to all the switches, and I'll be able to see... Uh, this pretty easy and then uh, this air tube right here can still be bolted to here it's not going to affect that so anyway that's where I'm going to mount the uh, MSD this is the disc 2 unit for wasted spark ignition again for that so anyway I'll do another video showing uh, once it's connected and everything right now it's all stock settings just gonna leave it at that for now, and uh, so we'll just go from there. Okay, well it's in um, that that one and that one. You're gonna want to self-tap these first because this metal is not easy to just put a regular self-tapping screw in. So anyway, bolted the brackets on three places uh, to the case, and then uh, bent the bracket a little bit. Uh, pre-drilled self-tap screws this thing is rock solid I do that I can't even get to move um, so that's that accomplishes exactly what I wanted so I'll just have I'll just mount this cable maybe down like this I'll route I'll route it over uh, to here probably I don't know maybe along this or something but anyway, there's just the next segment. Um, those are the power wires. Trigger. Okay, so anyway, I'll go to the next step and then uh, I'll record some more. Okay, so that's with it mounted and this air tube going to the resonator inside the uh, fender well or fender in there is uh, secured, so uh, I'm not going to be disrupting uh, any of the natural airflow. Um, this is pretty close to the hot radiator hose, but I think what I'm going to do is um, I might just shove some uh, aluminum radiant barrier right in there just for extra little extra blocking. Uh, radiant reflector. Aluminum reflects 97 percent of whatever heat hits it on an ongoing basis, so um, that bubble wrap foil stuff, I might just put a layer in here and if there's an air gap that this pushes it out and there's a little space here then there's a little bit of space to reflect off of because you don't want to heat the foil up just by conduction otherwise uh, you do that and uh, you don't get the benefit of the radiant reflection so you do want a little air gap I don't know this aluminum might work I'll just have to uh, drive it around test it out see how hot this gets and uh, with enough airflow up through the engine bay I don't know might not even be an issue but anyway, that's where it's going to fit. So it's just a matter of uh, wiring it up. When I get time to do that, either today or possibly tomorrow. And then we'll uh, feel more of it. Alright, well here's the uh, disc 2 hooked up uh, from the harness. There's really only six wires that you hook up. Three go to the uh, ignition coil and three come from the harness. I say I'm bundled here for right now. We'll 
probably going to stay there, but uh, I'm going to have to have access into here to be able to uh, wire in some uh, diodes in order to get the plasma, which will be another topic in another video, but um, I just have these all coiled up in here. You definitely want to make sure that these um, wires with the connectors are connected. If they're disconnected, your car won't run, so you got to connect the white and the green ones. This is for a tachometer interface. Um, the blue and brown wires are for um, disabling the ignition totally. Um, I just have the negative wire for power running, running along here and coming over right where I have the zero gauge wire coming from the uh, battery terminal. And then um, positive from the power, I just have it running right across here, tied onto there, and uh, right here, and going straight to the positive of the battery. 12.8, actually 12.6, because these are defective, sold on eBay. But anyway, it turns on, it runs, uh, still got to verify everything. I left all these settings stock. And uh, so we'll just take it from there and see what happens. Okay, so this is a uh, successful test right here. This is the MSD um, high performance coil right there on this EJ25 engine. I have the MSD Disc 2 in here uh, with my little modification. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show before and after with the exact same amount of power I'm going to be able to um, massively amplify this with a uh, plasma ignition and I'm going to have to plasma discharge. I'm going to show you that this this is you got to use non-resistor plugs which I already have in the uh, car. That plug is still hooked up. I just replaced this so I can just put a plug in here to test and that's grounded down to the plate mounting plate for the coil. So what I'm going to show you first is the regular MSD spark which is basically a multiple spark uh, discharge. Get this thing to focus. Okay, and then, um, so what I'm going to do first is do the spark, and then with the exact same uh, joules of potential energy in the capacitor, which is about 115 uh, millijoules at 1 microfarad at roughly between 4 and 500 volts, you know, at low RPM, and you're going to see that. Then what I'm going to do is turn off the engine. I'm going to connect one, one thing, put it back on, and so for the exact same power, you're going to see uh, plasma. Okay, so that's the normal um, capacitive discharge mode with the MSD. I'm going to turn it off, I'm going to connect one thing, and you're going to see a massive amplification in the ignition. I don't know if I want to show this. Okay, now I'm going to, now I'm going to turn it on. All I did was connect... Um, a little modification and we're going to see what we got. That's with the exact same ignition coil but I'm using my modification to create the uh, plasma discharge and I can make that plasma a lot bigger. We have a pretty tight gap on that and if I made that gap bigger the plasma gets even bigger. <laughs> 